Have you ever thought about how one simple moment of intimacy can create an entire human life? Out of millions of sperm, only one succeeds, and that tiny connection sparks the miracle of pregnancy. From fertilization to birth, the journey is more powerful and fascinating than most people imagine. Let's uncover the step-by-step -step story of how sex truly leads to pregnancy in the simplest words you'll ever hear. The beginning of life. From intimacy to conception, pregnancy starts with a natural biological process that connects male and female reproductive systems. During sexual intercourse, when a man ejaculates, millions of sperm cells are released into the woman's vagina. Each sperm is a tiny, living cell with one mission, to find and fertilize the woman's egg. But not all sperm survive. The acidic environment of the vagina and the body's natural barriers mean that out of millions, only a few thousand sperm make it past the cervix and into the fallopian tubes. Meanwhile, once every month, the woman's ovary releases a mature egg during ovulation. This egg stays alive for about 12 to 24 hours, waiting for sperm to reach it. The timing of sex matters a lot here. If sperm are already present in the fallopian tube around the time of ovulation, the chances of pregnancy increase significantly. Since sperm can live inside the female body for up to five days, there's a window of opportunity for them to meet the egg. This early stage may sound simple, but it's a perfectly timed biological dance where both sperm and egg must meet at just the right moment. Without ovulation or healthy sperm, pregnancy cannot begin, which is why the first step of life depends on timing, health, and nature working in harmony. Fertilization, the spark that creates a new life when one sperm cell finally reaches the egg, a powerful event takes place, fertilization. The sperm must penetrate the outer shell of the egg using special enzymes on its head. Once it enters, the egg immediately blocks other sperm from entering, ensuring that only one sperm successfully combines with it. This fusion creates a single cell known as a zygote, the very first form of human life. The zygote contains a complete set of 46 chromosomes, 23 from the mother and 23 from the father. These chromosomes hold the genetic blueprint of the baby, deciding physical features such as eye color, skin tone, hair type, and even some aspects of personality and health. Almost immediately, the zygote begins dividing and multiplying, forming more and more cells while still traveling through the fallopian tube toward the uterus. Though the zygote is only the size of a pinhead at this stage, it already carries all the information needed to grow into a fully developed human. Fertilization is truly the spark of life. It transforms two separate cells into one united cell with incredible potential. While people often think pregnancy begins immediately after sex, the reality is that it only begins once fertilization happens, which may occur hours later. This microscopic event is invisible to the eye, but it marks the beginning of a baby's journey. Implantation, securing a home in the uterus after fertilization the zygote continues dividing as it makes its way to the uterus. Within about five to seven days, it develops into a hollow ball of cells known as a blastocyst. This blastocyst floats around the uterus for a short while before attaching itself to the uterine lining. This crucial process is called implantation. Implantation is one of the most delicate and essential stages of pregnancy because without it, the fertilized egg cannot survive or grow. The uterus provides the perfect environment with a thick, nutrient-rich lining that nourishes the developing embryo. Once implantation happens, the woman's body begins releasing special hormones, especially human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG. This hormone is responsible for stopping menstruation and supporting pregnancy. It is also the hormone detected in pregnancy test kits. Implantation often comes with early pregnancy symptoms such as light spotting, cramping, fatigue, or nausea, which some women may notice. From this point forward, the embryo is officially growing inside the uterus. The mother's body shifts into full support mode, increasing blood flow, adjusting hormone levels, and preparing for months of development. 
Implantation transforms pregnancy from just a possibility into a reality, creating the foundation for the baby's future growth. Development. From embryo to fetus, once implantation is secure, the tiny ball of cells begins rapid growth. Over the next several weeks, the embryo undergoes cell specialization, where different cells take on unique roles to form tissues and organs. By the fifth week, the heart begins to form and even starts beating while the brain and spinal cord also develop. At around eight weeks, the embryo transitions into what is called a fetus, signaling that it has taken on more recognizable human features. Limbs, fingers, toes, and facial structures begin to appear, and the major organs gradually take shape. During this time, the placenta forms as well. The placenta is a remarkable organ that connects the mother to the baby, allowing oxygen and nutrients to flow to the fetus while removing waste. The amniotic sac also develops, cushioning and protecting the growing fetus. This stage of pregnancy is full of milestones. By the end of the first trimester, most of the major organs are formed. In the second trimester, the fetus grows rapidly and the mother may start feeling movements often described as flutters or kicks. The third trimester is about fine tuning. Lungs mature, fat stores build, and the baby prepares for life outside the womb. The journey from a single cell to a fully formed baby highlights the incredible complexity and beauty of human reproduction. The final stage, birth, the miracle of life, the last stage of pregnancy is birth, the moment when the baby enters the world. After about 40 weeks of growth and development, the baby is ready to survive outside the womb. Labor usually begins with contractions, powerful tightening of the uterus that help push the baby downward. The cervix gradually opens, allowing the baby to pass through the birth canal. For some women, labor can be long and challenging, while for others it may progress more quickly. In some cases, medical help such as a cesarean section is needed. Regardless of the method, birth is the final outcome of months of growth, change, and anticipation. The moment the baby is delivered, the umbilical cord is cut, and the newborn begins life independently, taking its first breath. For parents, this is an emotional and unforgettable experience. Looking back, it's incredible to realize that everything started with one sperm, one egg, and a microscopic union that eventually became a living human being. Understanding how sex leads to pregnancy not only reveals the science of reproduction, but also deepens our respect for the miracle of life. Every birth is proof of nature's precision, timing, and beauty.